Mr. Baldy's English Show. Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Baldy. I'm here to help you practice your English, listening to some English documents and to have fun. We will have fun on this channel, trust me. But first, I'm going to explain you how we are going to work. So, for a better experience and much more comfort for you, don't forget to activate the subtitles, okay? They will work as a safety net. It's a good way for you to associate what you're going to hear and what you're going to read at the beginning, okay? It's a bit of a, of a life belt, you know, the life belt that the kids use when they learn swimming. It's exactly the same thing. I'm going to provide a lot of expressions, a lot of, uh, of uh, blocks. I will come back on the blocks later. A lot of words, a lot of expressions. So don't hesitate to turn on the, um, the subtitles. It's going to help you a lot at the beginning. Okay, what is your level today? What can you understand? Do you understand when people speak over the phone? Which is the hardest thing in the exercises. Do you understand when you have someone speaking to you uh, on the street? Do you understand when you can read something? Do you understand when uh, you hear uh, people speaking together? All right, so just uh, let us know and see where your level is at. What is the biggest problem you come across? I would like to share it with you. That would be a great thing to know. If, um, if I can help you with anything, I will be uh, glad to do it. I'm going to introduce you with the eight pillars you need to develop if you want to speak good English one day. And I'm pretty sure you will if you follow my advice. Pillar number one. The first thing to do is to try to meet English speaking people. They are everywhere. You can meet them everywhere today. In these times of globalization, they are everywhere. They are on the street, they are on the train, on the plane, everywhere. When you hear someone speaking English, you can go and speak with them, right? Don't be your Frenchy French um, type of, uh, of guy who just, just uh, is a bit shy and um, don't want to communicate. Come on, do it. It's very, very efficient. Go and meet people, okay? Go and try to help them. If you see some uh, English speaking people or people from, uh, from another uh, language culture, it's not a problem. Just go and speak with them. English is the most used language as an, uh, a communication language. You understand? So this is very important. Go. It's a win-win situation. They will uh, speak to you in English, you will help them and at the end of the day maybe you will finish having a drink with them. Fantastic! And create a new contact and maybe one day you can go and meet them where they live. Fantastic! This is how you can do things today. Pillar number two. Focus on documents you understand. Now, I'm not talking about communicating with people, I'm talking about the documents you need to work with. What is it? You need to understand eight words out of 10. You need to understand 80% of the document. This is very important. You know what? Everyone's brain is the same. If you don't get 80% uh, satisfaction in what you do, you lose interest, okay? Some people will continue and will try harder, but if you don't get any pleasure doing it, and the pleasure comes at 80%, okay, you will lose interest. And this is where most of the people fail to continue learning English, and it's a shame. So choose other documents. For the pillar number three, you need to use English subtitles. Yes, indeed, just like what you are doing now for some of you, right? Don't turn on French subtitles. It's a complete mistake. Why? Just because you need to remain in the same language. If you go from one language you're going to hear to French subtitles, your brain will have to decode, okay? And you need to be in the same language. It's easier than making the, uh, the link between the two languages. Trust me, do it. 
It will be hard at the beginning, but don't worry, you will be rewarded. Pillar number four. Yes, what you have to do is to make mistakes. Are you crazy, sir? Yes, make mistakes. In France, people think they can speak a language when they can speak it perfectly. Make mistakes. What happens when a child learns a language? It takes one year, one year and a half to make mistakes, to integrate the expressions, to integrate the vocabulary, to make mistakes. It's so funny when a child tries to speak and makes mistakes. It's just fantastic. I'm going to give you an example. I've been speaking English to my daughter since she was born. She's now nine. But when she was very young, she came to me one day and she, uh, she fell, right? And she came to me and said, Daddy, I hurt my knee. I fall. Okay, fall. Okay, this is a mistake. No problem. Why? Because the best expression for that is I fell. Okay, my little girl who was three didn't know anything about irregular verbs. And never mind. She said, Oh, yes, Daddy, I fell on my knees. And that's it. You don't need to use break, broke, broken. You know the fantastic lists. I will come back on the list later. Don't use lists, but make mistakes. Hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Mr. Baldy's English Show.